Hello viewers, welcome back to our history class today. The topic of discussion is non-aligned movement. Your teacher is teacher Roger Michira, your history teacher. The station you're watching is LMU TV, your favorite learning station. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, just to give you a preview of what we did learn in the last class, we did introduce the non-aligned movement, the its origin, right? The aims of the non-aligned aligned movement and the principles and ideals of non-aligned movement. Now today we get into the achievements of non-aligned movement. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, what do we expect at the end of the lesson? We do expect that we get to state the achievements of the non-aligned movement and also state the failures of non-aligned movement. Now, the non-aligned movement had a number of significant achievements that are also recommendable. For example, the movement helped speed up the attainment of freedom in states that were still under the colonial bondage, right? Now, those t states that were still under colonial bo uh, bondage, non-aligned movement speeded up the attainment of independence or freedom. Now, and also, it helped its members to safeguard their national security and territorial integrity. When it comes to NAM, it was all about peace, security, and stability. And also, it contributed to the relaxation of international tension by keeping clear of the two military uh, blocks. And I told you, we had the USA as a block and also USSR as a block. Now, it had that um, uh, the, the, a neutral policy. NAM had the neutral policy. So it did not align itself to any of these two military blocks. And also, NAM played a leading, uh, a leading role in disarmament, the issue of uh, making weapons, right? It really, it really, it really, really played a leading role in to make sure that these states did not make more weapons. Remember, weapons uh, f uh, ensured that uh, the, 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 there was the, the World War One, World War Two was successful. Now, ensure that to ensure that um, the non-aligned movement, there is no another war that is going to arise. So it en it encouraged the issue of disarmament. Now, talk of the Harare Summit of 1986, whereby they set up a, a solidarity fund. This sol uh, solidarity fund, it ensured that there is financial assistance to the frontline states. And also, last, uh, last but not least, NAM has worked towards the creation of the new international economic order. For example, members have been trading with both blocks. Now, members who are in the non-aligned movement, they have taken a leading role in making sure that their economic ties or that trading ties have been enhanced. And finally, NAM has played a, a leading role in disarmament, the issue of making of making of weapons. Now, what are some of the challenges facing NAM? Right? One, there is divided loyalty and commitment. These member states who are in the non-aligned movement, they still have or rather they belong to other member mem member 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 organizations. For example, ECOWAS, talk of IGAD, talk of COMESA, right? Talk of African Union. Right, talk of Commonwealth, the issue of divided loyalty is another another great thing. Then talk of personality differences between leaders of member states have, have undermined the, the movement. For example, if there is a personality a personality difference between Yoweri Museven of Uganda and um, and uh, President uh, Kenyatta of Kenya, right? You know they can't sit in a conference, right? They can't share ideas. Now these personality differences that were between leaders of uh, of the member states really and sure, uh, they, they, they were a major blow to the movement. And also, the breakup of the, of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War came a major challenge of NAM. Now, the, remember, this, the, the Soviet Union was first united, right? It was one. Now, when it broke during the Cold War, right? So it, it, it laid a major blow to the, to the non-aligned movement. And also, Talk of the developing nations have weak economies. As a result, they were not able to meet their financial obligation. Remember, the non-aligned movement, their financials, they solely depended on the contribution of these member states, right? So they depended on the contribution of these member states. Now, these member states were the, were, were the countries who were developing. They were struggling financially, right? During the, cold, during the world wars, they were crippled financially completely. Now, these are the same same members that the non-aligned movement expected to fund the movement or the programs of the movement. Now you get that these countries were struggling economically. So when talk of NAM, they had financial problems. And also, its large number, 
talk of the 116 members by 2004. So in 2004, we had around, uh, that is 116 members, right? It also frustrated uh, the movement. For example, they had ideological coherence. So they didn't have same ideological, ideological, ideological uh, alignment or coherence. That's what we mean by the large numbers. So it, it really posted a, a challenge in the in the working of the non-aligned movement. Then finally, NAM as a force of international sanity does not maintain an army. It does not uh, maintain an army. For example, if you have got an uh, initial threatening peace, it sort of depends on the on the on, on the well wish of uh, the member states. So it's the member states that could give the army. Just like just like uh, African Union, non-aligned movement does not have its army. Now finally class, we can get to try out this assignment whereby we get to discuss the failures of the non-aligned movement and also uh, some of its achievements as an activity. So get to try that. Where did the non-aligned movement fail as an organization? And for our research, can we get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government book for by the Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, this is a limited V, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn.